reality is of Crouch End Living is that you're living in a lovely suburban, cool, fun part of London. We moved here nine years ago because we'd come to friends for dinner and we drove around and thought, this is nice, shop's cool, looks like it's got a nice feel, it's quite green, quite leafy, but you're still in zone two of London. And at the time we sold a flat and bought a family house. Now, I don't think I'd leave. My name's Mark Fordham. I'm the branch manager at the Crouch End office. We do residential sales, lettings and commercial, uh, and also uh, lettings management. We opened the office in the early 1980s. Uh, Crouch End is a fantastic area to live. It's full of very, very creative people. Uh, a lot of people in uh, television and film, theatre. There are a huge range of shops in central Crouch End. You've got the main supermarkets such as uh, Waitrose, Marks and Spencers. But the real draw for people, I think, is the independent uh, retailers. Crouch End has a very, very villagey feel. There's greengrocers, there's a fishmongers, a butchers, local bakers. My name is Christopher Freeman. I'm the owner of Dunn's Bakery here in Crouch End, which is the oldest shop in Crouch End and the surrounding area. I've been here at Dunn's Bakery since 1973. Dunn's Bakery has won a number of awards over recent years, from being runner-up and baker of the year, to a confectioner of the year at the Baking Industry Awards, and I won a Lifetime Achievement Award for my work within the baking industry throughout the UK. Crouch End is a, is a wonderful place to, to live and work in. I've lived here for the last 25 years. It has a lovely villagey feel and atmosphere to it that people love and a real community aspect to it. My name is Stephen Bishop. I'm a director of William C. Thomason's, which is Timber Merchants in Crouch End. We've been here for 52 years now, started by my father, and I'm carrying on the business. Our business has survived because of the local camaraderie, as it were. People prefer to use the local businesses. We got a small business so we like to keep it small so we can give that extra bit to the people. They have no, a question about certain board materials or certain timbers. They like us, we like them and they keep coming back so we're going to stay. My name is Philip McGuinness and I'm the owner of Tutamu here in Crouch End. Um, I started this business in 2012 because really what I wanted to do was I wanted to reinvent so it was a take-out kind of restaurant concept where you have take-out, you have delivery, you have restaurant really all in one. You have an open kitchen that's really kind of fresh, healthy ingredients. I believe that as a local business that we should probably support the local community. And we do a huge amount, so every month we sponsor a different charity. So it's all about giving back and that's what I think that is very important. We have a very successful schools programme, so we bring the schools into Tutamu where they can kind of get the whole history of Asia, see all the ingredients, taste it, touch it, eat it, how to cook. Crouton has a real... Uh, you feel welcome and you feel at home once you get off that W7 bus. People are very friendly. You know, I'm from Ireland and it's like being in Ireland in the 1950s because people come in and they congratulate you for opening up a restaurant and that's a very unique place to be. If you're moving here as a couple and you're not having children, there are comedy nights going on at the pubs and there are quiz nights and there are all kinds of social things you can get involved in if it's about you. If you're moving here with children, whatever stage you're at, you can buy into the community. My crash is a pretty special place in that we're the only place in all of North London where you can leave your children for a couple of hours or even all day if you need to, as and when you need to. We definitely think that we've got something really unique to offer parents in Crouch End. I love living in Crouch End and I love the fact that my crash is located here. Everyone says Crouch End is a village, but it, it, it holds up to that. It has a really strong community feel. It's also very lively. Everything that you could possibly need is within a quarter of a mile walk from the clock tower. And so you sort of don't really ever need to leave. At first glance, you might wonder, oh, what am I gonna do without a tube stop? But then the truth is I never, hardly ever need the tube anymore. You can hop on the W7 bus and be at Finsbury Park a mile down the road in 10 minutes, and then you're in zone two. You're literally 15 minutes into Covent Garden on the tube, or you're 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the city. To the west, you've got the Northern Line um, with stations at Highgate and Archway. Um, you've got to the south Finsbury Park Station which has got a huge transport interchange there. There's a great deal on offer in terms of parks. There's Highgate Wood and Queenswood, really really nice uh, spaces there. Um, there's Priory Park which has tennis courts, a very very good children's play area. Stationers Park, there's also Finsbury Park in the south, Alexandra Park in the north. In terms of uh, leisure and health clubs, uh, there's a lot going on in Crouch End as well. 
Um, Park Road Pools uh, and Leisure Centre has uh, inside and uh, outside swimming pools, tennis courts in quite a few of the parks. There's also Coolhurst uh, Tennis Club, which is a very well regarded tennis club uh, in North London. Schools are a big draw because so many of them are highly ranked. You're not going to lose out wherever your children go. In terms of primary schools, there's Coleridge, Western Park, Rokesley Primary, St Aidan's, St Peter's and St Gilda's, all of which have um, very, very good Ofsted reports. There's also Highgate Wood Secondary School as well. Everyone seems to be happy with their children's education. I think there's a reason there's a buggy. You know, every third person you pass on the street, if not more, has a buggy, and it's because it just really feels like a great place to, to raise your children. If you want to invest in the area as a person and lay down the roots and become part of the community, you can pretty easily. There is so much out there for the taking and it's so vibrant. I mean, it's very beautiful. Right down my street right now, there's about 15 trees all in bloom and, and pink. And every day I t want to take a photo and post it on Instagram because it's just so gorgeous. I'd definitely recommend for people to, uh, to come and live in Crouch End. I can vouch for it myself, uh, being a local resident myself. Um, and there's just so much going on here. There's something for everybody, um, whether you're a family or a young person, there's, there's, a, there's a lot going on. So it's a, it's a fantastic area to live. In.